Welcome back. We're going to formalize difference of means, um, or confidence in intervals for difference of means. Nothing here really should be surprising because we've already done something similar, similar to this with difference of proportion. So we're just going to kind of point out a couple of things, and then we're just going to do an example, and hopefully you'll be like, yeah, I can do this. This makes sense. Conditions should not be a surprise. Random, 10% rule, normal or large counts. The only thing that you have to remember here is just what do we do before. You have to make sure that these oops, are for each population. Okay. So, like we had to do it, we would have to do it for both. Well, actually, we did for the Chips Ahoy cookies and for the Chippers cookies. All right. So, you have to make sure that both of those are going to be met there. Okay. Um, so, in terms of the four steps, again, very, very familiar. We talk about the parameters and the confidence level about what we're going to go through and do. For planning, we also need to make sure that we also, so we see we're doing a two sample T interval for a difference of means. Also remember, we have to go through and hit the conditions there. For do, same basic thing. We need general formula, specific formula, the numbers slash work, and then also show your answers there. And then last but not least, conclude it up with, we are 95% confident that, Okay. And I think I've got a link down to the scripts that I use for that down below. But if not, um, remind me and I can go ahead and get that set up. Because again, it's a get very similar. You're just using a couple of different things in terms of some, how some of the numbers work. So for you, check your for understanding. You are going to double check to see how much time people spend reading between two different age groups. Is there a difference between um, 15, and 15 to 19 year olds and people who are over the age of 75? So go ahead. Run through these four steps down here, fill in what you can, and come back and check your work. See you in a minute. All right, so here's the thing. state. Mu1 minus mu2, the mean of 1 minus mean of 2 is the true difference in mean amount of time in minutes people spend reading between the ages of 15 to 19 and age 75. So I'm going to take the ages of 15 to 19 minus the amount of time people are reading on age 75. And we're going to do that at a 95% confidence level because that is what they tell us here. Um, so other things here, Aubrey, average standard deviation, average and standard deviation. Okay. So plan, we're going to do a two sample T interval for difference of means. And let's move this over here. In terms of your conditions, both say that they're random samples, yay. Got to like that, 10%, 975 is definitely less than 10% of all people who are aged 15 to 19. And likewise, uh, 1,050 is less than 10% of all people who are aged 75 or older. And for we got large samples here, so we don't, um, so 975 and both 1050 are much bigger than 30. Um, so for the do, point sample, plus or minus margin of error, X bar minus X2, or X bar 1 minus X bar 2, plus or minus T star, square root of the standard deviation. Plug everything in. This right here, okay, we're using degrees of freedom of 974. Why 974? Because 975 was the smallest number, was the smaller number. And that's going to be our most conservative. So that means that we're going to use, because on the board, we're going to use um, degrees of freedom of 100. Now, again, if you use a calculator for um, inverse t scores, you can also you could type in 974 if you wanted to do that. Um, so from there, plug it all in, and we get a confidence interval from negative 380 or 38.2 to negative 33.8. Okay, and the calculator one we're not going to worry about right now. Of that. So for your conclusion, we are 95% confident that the interval from a negative 38.2 to 33.8 minutes, notice there is context here, okay, capture the true difference in mean amount of time that ages 15 through 19 read and 75 plus read. Okay. So again, lots of familiar stuff in there. We just had to throw a couple of tweaks in there to make it work for means. 
So hopefully that works for you. Make sure you, if you have any questions or comments, talk to your teacher, throw a comment down below, hit a like if you like it, and we will see you for the mean of differences. What's the difference between the difference of means and means of differences? Come and find out. Talk to you soon.